Watch and hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. It's been four years since I made a commentary, but I haven't really had any games that are, you know, interesting me that much over these past four years. I've been grinding League of Legends, really, and I haven't really done anything else gaming-wise, but today I'm bringing you a Rogue Company commentary. And yeah, like I said, the last time I did a commentary over gameplay, I mean, Barack Obama was the president of the United States, so it's been a long time. And maybe my voice is a little different now. Um, maybe better quality as well. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this game. It's a third person shooter, as you can see, but it brings a lot of elements from other games, but it doesn't overdo them. Like, I didn't really get into Overwatch or Valorant, but this game, it's, it's more about the objective and the, the rogues you can choose, like choosing a champion in a league or something. Their abilities aren't so all over the place or that over the top, I guess you can say. They're more like... Okay, I'll, I'll shoot a grenade launcher at you every once in a while. Or like that. Like that guy just shot one at me. Um, or I can revive you from a remote place. Or things like that. You know, it's not like making new terrain or, or anything like that. That can really affect the game. And, you know, maybe I just needed to get used to that kind of stuff. But I didn't really care for... I didn't really care for the sweatiness. Um, don't get me wrong. This game is pretty sweaty. But... As of right now, there's no ranked mode yet, so it's not it's not really um, too competitive so far. This game was actually pretty close, and to be honest, for the first half, I didn't really do that good, um, or that well, sorry. But I started to pick it up later. Um, I had I had a couple of gameplays of this game on my hard drive that I was like well I could post that but I think this one is like the right length um I mean I've obviously edited it edited it down a bit um just to fill like just random you know random gaps in time where my teammates are just running around or if I die and you know want to watch them just waste the time um but that being said the other ones were on different maps like this map is pretty small um, and that's one thing too I like I like the maps in this game they're not like they're they're, ba they're, they're basic but if you're pl you're playing a bomb type game mode one life so it's not like people are gonna spawn behind you and stuff I, at least if you're not playing the respawn modes I haven't tried the respawn mode yet I've only played uh, demolition which is the search and destroy where one team is attacking one team is defending and um, I've had the most fun with that because I used to like Counter-Strike a couple of years ago. I never got really good at Counter-Strike, but um, I like that that game type. So yeah, here I got flanked. And as you can see, we're just not having a good time. Um, I mean, the score is tied, but I'm not doing really anything right now. So, but I promise I'd pick it up in a little bit. So yeah, but Leia, like I was saying, um, most of the abilities and stuff are, are pretty chill. It's just sort of like the girl I'm playing right now, her ability is that she'll throw a knife at you and it turns into a, a landmine. So after a while, if they walk by it, you know, they could explode and go down. Others include like putting up some, putting up like a little piece of cover, um, reviving you things like that right oh yeah there I just get outgunned and I have the bomb but none of my teammates came with me so like things like this right I'll just I'll just skip ahead because I mean you don't want to see them just run around for like 30 seconds just doing nothing um they end up picking up the dub here it's 2v1 but yeah I, I've been I've been liking the game so far I have it on uh console and PC I've I haven't really played too much on console I think I'm like level 
I don't know, like four or five. But since I already know the maps and stuff, um, I, I guess I'm like at a little advantage. Um, but yeah, on PC it just seems like, I mean, it seems like it would be really good on console. But on PC I've been really enjoying it, and I feel like I for I started it on PC, like I started playing this game on PC, so my aim and everything is just uh, I mean, I'm, just, I'm just more used to it. Um. On console, I tend to just kind of run in and play it like Gears of War, and you can't really be that aggressive. I learned over a couple games so far, like, it depends on the map and whatever and what character you're playing, but most of the time you want to take it a little bit slower. Um, it's basically like, if you remember Modern Warfare 2's tactical, like, third person team tactical or whatever, it's kind of like that, I guess. But, I mean, the time to kill is a lot longer in this game. It's not just like an instant two-shot kill, like in Call of Duty, but... Yeah, it's... It's, uh, it's, it's honestly a breath of fresh air. I haven't had any game kind of hook me like this since, since League of Legends. Um... So yeah, here we switch sides and I start to heat up a little bit. I, w I would say that this, this, I could have just posted this half and it would have been better, but I wanted to show you guys the other character. Um, I don't think anybody else switches their character except for me. Usually when I'm uh, attacking, I'll go for something more aggressive. Uh, and when I'm, when we're defending, I'll pick something more defensive like Saints, like this guy. Because he, he can heal. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have to revive you if he's right next to you. He can revive you from far away just by pressing Q. That's his ability. Still takes time and you can still die. But um, it's nice to have. I think you'll, you'll see it a little bit later when my teammates start to get down and stuff. But yeah. W one thing I really like about this game is that they use the buy system. Like in uh, like Counter-Strike and well, you know, any other kind of bomb type game right um they use the buy system and unlike valorant and csgo and things like that um you get to keep the stuff that you bought which i think is really cool so as the rounds progress everyone just gets a little bit stronger and stronger so it's not like you know you'll still be in an event at a disadvantage if you're losing all the time but it won't be such a disadvantage where you're like losing money and you have to manage the whole economy. Like you can, if I buy my primary weapon and upgrade it um, and I die, I can still get it back the next round to start with, which I actually, I think I prefer that right now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I wonder if they'll do any changes like that for ranked, if they'll make you have to repurchase everything again. Oh, this guy. This guy and I almost died right here. So, I think, I think th this round or next round, I start, I it starts to go off. I know there's one round for sure where I just wipe the whole team. Oh god, my aim. That's one thing. The uh, it's a little bit difficult to get used to. PC at first, like I, because coming from console, I never really played shooters on PC besides Counter Strike, and like Halo, Halo Combat Evolved multiplayer trial. If you remember that, I used to play that a lot. But I mean, it's completely different now, right? The the type of like even even just in terms of like what mouse you can get, you can have such better aim and precision. Um. I've been, like, besides Rogue Company, the only PC games I've really been playing, like I said, were, like, League and, like, RuneScape, which is not really that intensive on your precision, especially RuneScape, right? Yeah, I tried to revive my teammate there with Q, but, uh, he died before I could. Um, one thing about Saint, this guy, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, right there, you can see that's my Q ability, so it'll actually fly over to wherever... Uh, your down teammate is and try and revive them but one thing i like about saints is that his his primary rifle it actually has like a, a aim down the site like ads like that it's pretty cool um 
the other ones don't have that. But I think it's I think it's just I think it's nice to uh, to have at least like one character that does it. Um, I haven't really unlocked any any new rogues or anything yet. I've been trying to learn the game before I buy anyone else. But I honestly think that Saint, this guy, is probably one of my better uh, rogues. So when ranked comes around, I mean, everyone will probably want a saint on their team to heal. So I think I'll probably start practicing saints a lot. And then I'm really interested in um, the sniper girl. I forget her name. But I, don't, I haven't tried the sniper yet in this game. So I don't know if I'll be able to translate my Gears of War sniping ability into this. Um... It's a lot harder on PC, right? So I don't know if I can pull it off, but anyway, anyway. So right here, I think this is the clip for the montage. Nice headshot there. And then I come around. I hear that they're reviving. And then I'm just like, nah. A little triple kill. So yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. And then okay? I'm in a clutch okay? position here. So I go to revive my teammate, and then I hear her running. So I come up with the four piece. Yeah, this pretty good. Um, and here we're on match point. This is supposed to be the last round, but you know, we have to screw it up at least once. And honestly, most games don't really come down to the wire like this. Like, I mean, most of them are pretty one sided. And that's, I guess, just due to just the matchmaking. I mean, I haven't played enough to run into multiple sweaty lobbies. Like, this one's not even that sweaty. It's just kind of... It's just kind of even because one guy will kind of make a mistake or something. But it's not like everyone's running, like, strats or something. Like, it's not that, it's not that intense. At least not yet. I mean, once rank comes around, I re I'm really interested to see... If how far up the ladder I can get because they have like bronze, silver, gold, plat, diamond, or whatever. And then Rogue is gonna be the the challenger of this game. Yeah, here, here I couldn't pick a target. I didn't know who to focus, and then just go down. But uh, yeah, I think we get wiped right here. Yeah. I'm pinging. I'm like, guys, come on. He's here. But I bleed out. And this guy actually, actually, he almost punches it here. Yeah. Here we go, right? Oh, so close, man. That would have been a win right there. But one more round, and this will be the final one. And... Right now I'm at the top of the leaderboards, so I'm like, okay, well I could probably post this game. Like I did the best in the game so far, and I don't even think I did that good. But I mean, the game thinks so. But yeah, anyway, every time I go to uh, B, or every time I had been going to B this time, or A, sorry, I've been getting rushed. So I'm like, let me let me watch B this time because remember I did get my my quad. At B, so I'm like, well, but uh, no luck there. So I decided to flank around, and I hear I hear them going down. I'm like, all right, let me get in there. I don't want to finish second place. Let me get a couple kills because this one seems like it's in the bag. I don't know why I stopped here. Oh yeah, we got it. So I assist on that guy, and then the last guy is chilling, and they wipe him after I try and heal that guy, so that's it. So the final score was, what, 14 and 5? Right, I think it was 14 and 6. I lost on, or I died on one of our wins, so yeah, 14 and 6. Not too bad. Top, top uh, I think I had the most revives for playing Saint, and uh, most assists or something as well. So yeah, I'm like, I'm only level 12 on PC, but, you know, revives, elims, and downs, yeah, pretty good. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll definitely be playing more of this game. It's a lot of fun. 
And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next time. Peace.